you can make a lot of money writing and selling ebook and in this very video i'm going to show you exactly how you can do this with just your smartphone everything i'm going to be sharing in this video i'm going to be showing you exactly how i do it with my smartphone so you can see what i'm doing and replicate the same thing hello i'm tobia davison welcome to my channel and welcome to my video in this channel i talk about everything money personal development and growth the first thing i want you to understand is getting the topic right i've seen a lot of writers write wonderful and brilliant content but I have a very shallow topic this is one of the reasons why they could not sell so many copies of their books so you need to get the topic right your topic must be something that arouses interest in the mind of your potential buyer you don't just choose a topic because your topic is the first thing your buyers are going to see and your topic should be something that arouses interest in their heart so get your topic right and that is the starting point when it comes to writing your own ebook in order for your ebook to do well it needs to solve a clear problem just one problem you don't have to throw all the knowledge you have into a single ebook you can write as many ebooks as possible so your ebook should be towards solving just a clear problem do you have an extensive knowledge in something or maybe there's one question that people ask you over and over again you probably should write about it probably you have an extensive knowledge in relationship wellness academic excellence video editing photography whatever thing you do you can write about it and i'm going to explain four simple steps you need to take when it comes to writing your own ebook one do your research get to know the questions that are in the mind of your potential buyers get into their mind know the kind of question they are asking go to website like answer the public so you know the kind of question that people are asking in the area where you want to write about you can also ask people around you question you can put it up on your instagram story your whatsapp status or whatever it is just to ask people the kind of things they would like you to talk extensively or write extensively about and definitely you are going to get a lot of responses the second thing you need to do is to outline your topic keep your information organized you don't want to be confused when you are set to write your books as a matter of fact your research and your outline should take up 80 percent of your work they should take longer time because when you have your research clearly done and your outline well done you will not have issue with writing that exactly what you have in mind because everything is well outlined and it's staring at your face you just need to get into the book and start writing go as deep as you need to to answer the question you are trying to answer with your ebook it doesn't matter if it's a short read or a long read just get your points across that's the most important thing the third thing is time to write people and i'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do this with your smartphone and after we are done with writing i'm going to show you the fourth thing which is to edit and format your book and start selling please as much as possible everything you'll be learning try as much as possible to practicalize it so that you can get results all right, we are here guys and i'm going to be explaining step by step how you will create your ebook with your smartphone now we are going to be needing a couple of websites and apps and one of the apps you need first is google docs so just go to your play store let me go to my play store just go to your play store and search for google docs sorry about that let me just move this google docs it's actually a very popular app. I have it already, so you can just update it if you have it already. And aside from that, you'll be needing Canva. You can decide to download the app, but me personally, I don't access the Canva app through the app. I prefer to access it through the website. And also, you'll be needing DIYbookcovers.com. That's one of the websites you'll be going to design a book cover. And then you also need smartmockups.com. I'm going to be showing you exactly what we'll be doing with every of this app and website. And the second step I'm going to be explaining in this video is writing and designing your ebook. And then the third one will be creating your book cover. So let's start with the second one, which is writing and designing your ebook. So we'll be using Google Docs, like I said before. I have it on my phone already. So let's go to Google Docs. As you can see, I've written quite a number of books here. I've gotten so many books that I used um to that I use this particular app to create. So I have everything here. So now when you come into the app, of course, you are not going to see all of this here because you have not created anything with it. So you are going to click on this button. Let me try to show you. Let me use my brush to show you. 
Okay, can you see what I, what I just said could? Can you see what I just said could? That's what we'll be using. So just click on the button. You click on it and then you can decide to choose a template or you start from scratch. If you are starting from scratch, you'll be choosing the new documents. For instance, whenever I want to create a design, I usually start from scratch. I don't use a template, but let's say you want to use a template. You just click on choose template. There are so many. In one of my videos, I explained that one of the side also you can learn is writing CV. So this is the kind of app that will help you in designing your CV for your clients. Like it's really, really helps. But if you want to design book, you go to this part that says education. So you can just click on any of the design and edit it to your taste. You can edit anything at all on the book that you see here. Anything at all, you can edit it. So we are here. If you want to edit it, all you have to do is to click on this pencil icon. And as you see this interface, you can actually view it in two different types. You can view it in print layout. As you can see, this is how the book is when it's ready. But this is not how we are going to edit it. I prefer to keep it in the normal phone layer like this. So if you want to edit it, all you have to do is to click on this pencil icon. Let me circle it for you so that you can see what I'm talking about. So you click on this pencil icon that I just circled. Just click on it and then you can edit it. So as you can see, so you can change it, science, whatever. Maybe you want to write about five side also. Five side also, or whatever it is, just click on it and edit it to your taste. And aside from that, you can also edit the picture. If you decide that, okay, you don't want this picture, you want another picture from your gallery, you can just click on the three dotted line at the top and then replace image. It will take you, it will give you option to choose from your photos or you just take the picture afresh. So you can just go to your gallery and then you pick whatever picture that you want. So you understand. So that is exactly how you can edit it. You can edit everything on this particular page. And when you are done, you can just view it on the print layout so that you will see how it is. When you are done, you just click on the mark button here to save your work. So let's click on that. So we are done. But when I want to create my own, I don't do that. I start from scratch. So I'm going to show you exactly how you are going to start from scratch. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to click on new documents. Yes, so we are on a fresh page, not used before. <laughs> and I know that this might look a little bit complicated or whatever it is, but it's actually very, very easy. Now, when I want to write an ebook, I don't just come to Google Docs and start writing. One thing I always do is that I have a template in mind. I always, always, always have a template in mind. And the reason why I do this is because I don't want to get confused. I don't want to get confused, like, how do I arrange my layout? You know, all of those stuff. So I always have a template, probably an ebook I have on my phone that I love the layouts and I love the arrangement, the text, the fonts and everything. I just open it down on my phone and then I replicate the same template for that book. I replicate almost the same. And it can't be the same because the number of features that is available on Google Docs is not, is not so much. For instance, it doesn't have so much fonts. Like, you can doesn't have so much fonts. I think it has just about 12 fonts that you can use. So you don't have access to so many fonts. So you can't exactly replicate the same thing, but you can follow the layout of the book. So now that I'm going to create a book for you guys, I'm going to open one of the books I created on Google Docs, one of my books. I created it last year and I created it here. Let me just show you guys. So I designed this particular book from this Google Doc right here let me show you the print layout so that you see how pretty my book is my book is so i just explain as you can see it's actually very very pretty the layout everything i did not just come here and then i start uh, creating design i always always have a template so when i was creating this design i had a template in mind so all i did was just to replicate the same thing so right from the about me okay the, this about me was actually something i just decided to add so everything here was actually something that I copied from a template that I already have on ground. So you can use this exact template. Always have a template in mind. Now, if you're going to print out this book, it's going to look absolutely like, it's going to look as if you actually did it with a laptop or something like that because I actually took my time. Each of the page, everything that I added, everything that I added into this, actually, I actually took my time. And I want to tell you that whenever you want to write a book, please take your time. You are going to be selling the book. So give it time. Don't be in a rush. 
don't be in a rush at all i'm someone that i love excellence a lot so you don't just want to create something and people will not even like it you know there are some books you see that you don't feel like reading because it's not fine it's not the layout is not so good and hot so take your time to create your book this actually took me some hours but i had already typed out all the content somewhere so the only thing i was doing was copy and paste copy and paste because i already typed out everything so we have a template so let me keep this template open while the template is open i'm going back to my google doc to the page i just created okay and i'm going to edit it so i'll just click on the pencil icon so let me say i want to write book about um the mind yes let's say the title of my book or something is the mind capsule the mind capsule so the title of my book now is the mind capsule let me just move this here the mind caps i'm just thinking of something anything i thought i can write so i have it here and then the sub topic i'm still going to talk about it when i'm talking about the cover and title of your book so let's say the top topic the sub topic rather is um tapping let me just create something tapping into the innate mm, innate power of your mind to create um the kind of life the kind of life you desire i think that's that sounds nice so we have this already now if i want to burden this and kind of increase this all you have to do is to highlight this and as you can see on this page there are so many tools you can use to work around your text or whatever you are using for instance you can decide to bold your text is very easy you just need to click on the board icon there are so many of them here you can increase the size here as much as you want you can decide to increase the size the size it depends on your choice and also you can change the color it has um different shades of colors different shades of blue different shades of black greens and all of that so let me just choose that one you can decide to go with black like for instance as you can see the book that i wrote here i did not use so many colors i only used black and a very tiny bit of red you can see and then this part that is actually showing blue it was written in black is because i added the link for instance if i click on the twitter it's going to take me to my twitter page there's a way i added an embedded link into that right up i'm going to show you exactly how you're going to do that also so let's say this is i have a topic um, the uh, my topic now is the mind capsule so like i said you can decide to increase it as much as you want all right and then you can change the font it has so um the fonts are actually good it's not much but they are actually good oh, i don't know i don't like this okay so i think i'm okay with this and then i can decide to highlight this also i'll go back to this and then i'll change the font so i like this comfort actually and then you can decide to reduce the price the size rather and then i want to bring it to center page so I can do something like this. So the mind capsule. So I have my first page ready and it's looking so, so beautiful. So there are so many things you can do. Like I said, there's a way you can embed your link into one of the right. So let's say, for instance, I want to embed a link into this tapping. You just have to highlight it. Then you go to plus. When you click on that plus, it's going to bring different things. So if you want to um, add image, link, whatever thing you want to add into that particular and um, write up, you just highlighted. You can just pick it. So you can add image, table, footnote, whatever it is. So let's say you want to add a link. You would have copied your link from, from wherever it is. And you click on it and then you can just um, put it here. And then you click on the um, plus icon here. Let me show you. Sorry you can just click on this currently it is not active that's because i've not added any link but once you had your link it should, it should be active and then you can just click on that and your link will be embedded so whoever is reading your ebook once they cl click on it it's going to take them to whatever place that link leads to for instance mine leads to so many couple of pages one is leading to my twitter page one is leading to my instagram another is leading to my facebook so it's quite easy to do so, for instance, let me show you how I did something like, if you want something like this on each part of your page, you know, there are books like that, that you see the topic on each side of the page. Sorry, my pencil keep misbehaving. So, you can see that I have it on each and every page, each and every one. That's because I was using a template that I already have in mind. So, if you want to have something like, you just have to type something simple. Let's say the mind capsule now. Let me change this back. Mm. So the mind capsule. So 
So you highlight you highlight the mind capsule and then you can go ahead to reduce the size as much as you want. You have to reduce the size, of course, because the size is always very small. You can reduce the size and then you can decide to change the color to black and then you can decide to move it. Now, moving it is not the usual way. You can just use um, your space button to move it to wherever you want it to be. So let's move it to the right part of our page. So like you see that it's quite simple and whole. I don't want it's taking so much time to move to where I want it to be, but let me let me try and endure. <laughs> so it's quite easy. It is not hard at all. There are so many tools that are useful. You can just click on the A, the A thing all um, at the top of your page, and then you can click on it. Now, when you type something, let's say for instance, let me show you this. When you type something and then you really you want to delete it, like you can just click on back button. Maybe you input an image or whatever it is. I want to delete. You can just click on the undo button. Or if you want to redo, you can click on the redo button. It's very easy. Like Google Docs is a lifesaver. You don't have to own a system before you can write anything. So this is where you can change the color of your text also. It's actually very handy. Also, if you want to make your... If you are very familiar with uh, Microsoft Word, navigating this app is very easy. So if you want to centralize your write up if you want to put it to the right to the middle if you want to justify it or if you just want it to be to the left you can just do that over there and if you want this to be um, if you want to um, number your write up if you want to number it more, more like bullets your write up you can do that so you know if i click on enter now it's going to do this so like i said it's very very easy to use very very easy to use so you, once you get into the app just go through all of the um all of the resources that are available, all of all of these things that you can use, just click on each and every one of them just to know exactly how it works. You understand, right? Like I said, it's very straightforward. You can decide to strike through. There are so many things that you can use here. Also, at the down part of the page, like I said, there's a path for your bulletin. There's a path for the justification of your right top. Probably you want it to be centralized or you want it to the right or to the left or just want it justified You have so many things you can work with <clears throat> so let me show you what i did here so what i did here essentially is that i just copied i write i wrote whatever i wanted to write i wrote it down in my notepad so immediately i finished writing copywriting let's see let me go to the next page let me go to the next page for you to view how your book is going you need to always go back to this um, print layer this is where it's going to show you exactly what you are doing if you stay on this particular layout you might not understand how your book is going so always go back to the print layer when you go there it's going to show you exactly what you are doing and then you know how to edit it you know how to edit everything that you want to so it's quite easy like i said you can use these templates of this book that i just wrote here you can use the same template there are so many other templates that you can use whatever book whatever ebook you have and everything I, as you can see this one is actually very pretty and i did it with my phone i used different fonts of course i use different fonts because but of course they were not fighting each other they were blending into each other so you can use it whatever thing you want to use so take your time take your time go through the app and then when you are done with the app just save up your work i hope you get it yeah so the next thing I'm going to show you, you guys now is how to design your book cover. And I'm going to go over to my Chrome. Like I said, I did not download the cover Canva app because I have it. I access it through the website. I like accessing it through the website and the app. So that is why I did not. I have never used the app for close to three years now. The last time I used the app was in 2020. So you can access Canva through the website canva.com but if you have the app is is the same interface you understand is the same is the same interface rather so we are here now now you're going to click on the search button right at the top and then you click on book covers there are so many templates for you that you can use there are tons and tons and tons of them that you can use so just just click on book covers and then it's going to bring out different book book covers that you can use for you is loading quite slowly so yeah yeah book covers so you can just edit any one that you want now when it comes to canva you can get nice um you can get nice templates 
for free but there are some that is written paid that means you can't use it unless you pay like for instance this one you cannot use it unless you have a pro version of the app and also i think there's another one there are so many design here i'm coming there are so many design here that are for free but some of them also you have to use you have to have the um, pro version but because this um tutorial or rather this um video is all about getting everything for free i'm going to be using a free one i'm going to be using a free one to show you guys exactly what to do so let me just look for a free design that is okay that suits our topic our topic is the mind capsule so let me just quickly look for one there are so many, so, so many of them. And this one is talking about the mind, but it's paid. So I can't use that as an example for you guys. So let me just look for the one that is free. Mm. All right, I've seen a couple, but let me just try this one. So I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to edit it to my taste. If you are very familiar with Canva, you should be able to create a very, very stunning book cover here if you are very familiar with Canva. But if you're not familiar with Canva, you can actually create something beautiful too. So let's write that title, the mind um, capsule. All right. So we have our title ready so you can just walk around it so that it fits into the page so we have it here let me try to increase the size if you are finding it difficult to increase the size on the page you can just go ahead to this part and then increase the font size and send, try as much as possible to centralize it and then you write your name here let me write my name toby at abc so my name is well written so since my book is about the mind so i can just search for something about the mind so let me click on this plus sign at the down part i just click on the plus sign the down part so you can just look for elements this is what i just clicked on right now elements can you see what i just clicked on so you can search for brain since i'm talking about the mind i can just search for um mind you go to elements and you search for mind it's going to bring different um designs for you so let me pick uh, i think i'll prefer graphics i'll prefer graphics um there are some that are not free but let me use a free one for you guys so i just picked this one the mind capsule so i just picked this if you made a mistake or something you can just click on the undo button right at the top let me show you guys this is it right here you can you can click on the undo button and uh, the undo button to go back to where you were so let's do that undo all right and then you move the image to wherever you want it to be yeah so we have it here so you can reduce the size you can decide to increase it whatever you want of course when you're designing your please take your time this is because it's a video and i'm trying my best not to take so much time so that i can finish off in time so we have this here the mind capsule and then we have a subtopic remember we have a subtopic so you can just click on text if you want to write a subtopic now you can decide to click on text click on the plus button and then go to text and then you can pick whatever side so add a little body of text that's what i just clicked on then you double tap on it so that you can edit it so tapping into the in it right in it power yes of your mind to to create the kind of life yes kind of life you desire so we have this already now, the next thing you are going to do is just to make it fit into where you want it to be. And then you can change, change the color. So, I'm going to go to color and change it to black. You can decide to use another color, whichever one you want. But I'm using black. Yeah. So, tap it into. And then you can decide to change the font here. Yeah. You can choose fonts and then whatever font you want. There are so many fonts on Canva. Like, mind-blowing fonts that 
in fact you might get confused along the way so i think we have this already i think it's almost perfect it's not perfect but if you take your time you should be able to create something way more beautiful than this so just write it toby adebisi and then go ahead to download it let me show you what i just clicked on so you don't get confused when you get here so this is what i just clicked on yeah so click on it and then it will take you to download then click on download and then download and it's going to download on your phone so our download is done then you can open it to check how it is on your phone you can see it's the same thing with what i created so we are done with this the next thing we are going to do is to go to diy book covers we are going to create a 3d lookup for our books so we are going to go to diy book covers i already mentioned this is one of the places we are going to go to so diy book covers sorry book covers keep making mistake diy book covers sorry for that i had a call so let me do it again just open a new tab and search diy book covers covers.com yeah we are here you can create any design you want on this particular place so you can just click on book design and you can decide to register. You can decide to register on the site. It's absolutely free to register. But then you cannot have access to some pro designs and pro templates. So that one might be a little problem. But you can just, um, you don't have to create an account with them. You don't have to create an account with them at all. If you decide to create an account, you might have access to more tools and all. But you don't have to create an account. So you can click on get started now. So just click on this down arrow and then click on 3D mockups. 3D mockups. You are creating 3D mockup for our book. So you can see that it has a lot of templates you can use. These are free templates. They are free. They are absolutely free. You don't have to pay any amount. So you can just see you can see the steps. Number one, you choose a 3D mockup and then and then the second one, you select your cover image and download your free mockup. It's actually very easy. Easy. You can choose composite. For the composite, it will show you that you can have about two or three designs of your book. But let's start with the single one. Let me let me use this single one. Let me pick a design. Let me choose this so that I could show you exactly how it is done. So I am done with choosing it. You go ahead. You go back up and click on next then it will ask you to upload whatever thing you want to do so just click on upload click on browse first to pick your image done and then click on upload so let's see once it is ready see it's loading and then it's going to bring up your book so we have it here Click on next. You can do the same here to go ahead, pick your book, done. Then you click on upload. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. And then you click on next so you can decide to download this as a png or as jpeg so i'm going to click on jpeg and it's going to download it right into my phone now let me show you what we created you can see this is the book it can actually be way more better than this but just take your time take your time this is the book this is the mock-up the 3d mock-up for our book if you decide to choose the composite you just go back and choose composite instead of a single one just go ahead and go to composite it's very easy it's the same process that you are going to follow to choose composite click on this choose 3d mock-ups and then click on composite and follow the same process follow the same process and you are going to get your book in 3ds another way that you can get 3d and very beautiful design for your book is by going to smart mockups 
smartmockups.com dot com yeah All right, I've been trying to access the smart mockup, but it's not going on my device. But there's another site that is exactly like smart mockup where you can do another mockup for your books. It is called adazing.com. Adazing.com is also straightforward and easy. So once you get to the site, you just click on the three hamburger line and click on free book mockup. Now, there are so many templates here that you can also try. There are so many of them. You can see that they are actually very pretty. So let's say, for instance, let me see one fine one that I can use. Let's say I want to use this template. You just have to click on it. It's almost the same. It's almost the same um, way. So just choose file. Choose your file. And go to files. And then pick up your image. Okay, so, so we used um, this, right? So just click on it. And it's going to upload. You can decide to add your email and just um, add your email address and it's going to send it to you, to your email. And then you can download it directly. Let me just put in my, to download it directly. You to send it directly to my email and then I can download it from there. So I just input my details and it is done with my book. So this is essentially how to create mock-up for your book. It's actually very easy. Yeah, so the next thing I'm going to talk about now is selling your book. You are done with creating your mock-up. Your book is ready. The next thing you want to do now is you want to write like an art copy, more like a sales copy for your book. Let's say, for instance, my book now, the name is um The Mind Capsule. So let me just think of something. A sales copy that you can send to friends or you can post on your social media page about your book. So um, you can just write, I just wrote a book the mind capsule and then you can just write um something just a sales copy this book um is a powerful resources filled with practical steps to tap into the power of your mind, into the power of your mind, of your mind, and create the kind of life you want, kind of life you desire. You know, you can just write is I just the sales copy, something very simple, something that talks about your book, you know, something very short that can arouse interest in the heart of a potential buyer, and then you can get it here for just can get it here for just a discounted amount of let's say um i decide to sell it five dollar you get i decide to sell it for five dollars five dollars within this is january right let's say within 20th january um or let's say 30th january to from from 30th January to um let's say 5th February February price goes up to goes up to um let's say fifteen dollars afterward. So this thing that I just did here, you know, saying the price will go up is what we call fear of missing out. We call it fear of missing out when it comes to business. It's more like adding more like a discount, something that will make people, you know kind of that was pour them to action i really need to get this before the price increases so that's what i just did here then you can just type get it here and then just put in your link where they can get it now for the link where they can get it you can actually list your book on amazon you can list it on okada book whatever it is and you can list it on seller for um, an individual person that is selling your book by yourself with yourself <laughs> you can list it on seller if you don't know seller seller is a massive marketplace I think is majorly in Africa presently. I think it's in all African countries. I'm not very sure about that information. So you can just go to seller.co to register is free. Actually, to even list your book is absolutely free. All you have to do, let me just show you. Just go to seller.co. You might not have an account with it. If you have an account, it's very easy to create an account. 
go to seller.co if you need me to create a video where i explain how you can create your seller accounts and how you can list all your book on seller then i'm going to create the video you can just um type into the comment section that toby please create a video on how to list a book or whatever product you can actually sell whatever product um, not physical product now you can sell your digital product on seller.co so if you need me to create a video on that to explain step by step how you can do this you can comment in the comment section if i have up to like 20 comments as regards that then i'm going to create a video to explain step by step how to create an account on seller and how to list your digital product on seller and how to activate the payment method for all african countries there's ghana cities there's uganda whatever um there's usd there's a um, naira whatever payment um, form you want is up there so you can just comment and i'm going to create a video on that so you can list it and when you are done you start talking about it you talk about it on your status maybe whatsapp status you can talk about it on your instagram story you can create videos about it just to give people um a little hint of what your video is about something you can talk about that will arouse interest your main aim is to arouse interest in the mind of the people of your potential buyers that is what everything you should be talking about whatever thing you'll be talking about when it comes to your book make sure it arouses interest in the heart of your potential buyer you don't just want to talk you want whatever you you are saying to arouse interest in their mind and cause them to give out their money to get it but of course that's because you know that your book um answers whatever you are talking about so it's actually very easy it's very straightforward and you can of course you can use your phone google does i just explained how you can just take your time take your time literally you know when i did this i didn't have all the ideas all i just did was i just had a template in mind i followed the template and i was able to create everything i wanted it's very very easy when you finish creating your book i would like to see it i will really really like to see what you create out of this video you can send me a dm on my whatsapp i'm going to be dropping the link thank you guys so very much and of course, if you want to add your book cover to your book in your Google Docs, all you have to do is to let me just create a space, come here, and then click on this and go to image. So you can just pick from photos, you can just pick the cover you just designed on Canva, you click on it, and then to bring it here. That's exactly how I did that. So it will be on your first page, kind of. So you can see the mind caps. You can shift all of this to enter the next page so that it it is not in the same page and then you can increase the size you know wherever it is you can increase the size sorry it has moved to another page just undo and then walk around it walk around it that's essentially how i created my own i did not do more than that when i was doing this the first thing i did was to have the book cover that i created before talking about me and all of that so i hope you understand everything thank you guys see you guys bye we are done with the video guys thank you for watching and thank you for staying to the end if you enjoyed the video please drop a comment and like the video because if you like the video it helps the video do well thank you so much we expecting feedback from you guys you all know i love feedback you can connect with me directly on all my social media platform i'll be putting up the link in the description box you can go ahead and connect with me and you can connect with me personally on my whatsapp i will also drop the link that leads directly to my whatsapp thank you guys for watching i'll be seeing you guys soon in the next video bye